Sehr viel auf dem Bauch jetzt, mehr aufs Gesicht. Yes. Ja. <lacht> I, I think we've converted it to Pussycat Doll Island. Poker Island into Pussycat Doll Island. It's so beautiful. I would have never imagined it was this, this gorgeous. I love the pond and the, the infinity pool overlooking all of Ibiza. It is like breathtaking to me. I want to live here. <laughs> the best part is that you get to do photo shoots and get to travel to beautiful places like Ibiza. The worst part is you work so much when you get to these places you're always working. <laughs> so your work becomes your play. Ah, you need to be able to withstand six inch heels while dancing <laughs> and really big eyelashes while sweating. <laughs> um, also you need a lot of confidence. Confidence from within and an inner strength from within. I think that sums it up. I, I, I just think it's about knowing who you are individually, your self-worth, and loving and embracing yourself for who you are and just being fearless. I think none of it is luck. I think all of it is hard work. And all of it is God-given talent and skills. The combination of the hard work, the God-given talent, and what you do with it, those skills, and how you work continue to always work on your craft. It is a little tough because the girls in my group are so beautiful. <laughs> so, but I just, that's what a true pussycat doll is, is a girl who embraces herself, her differences, and her body for what she is. And um, I'm for all my big bunda girls out there. <laughs> I represent for all my girls out there. And um, I think it's just, uh, You just have to love yourself from within first and, and, and sing really loud and really big to make up for it. <laughs> well, I don't need that long, but I'm the worst procrastinator and I'm really late for everything. So I'll just lollygag or do something on my Blackberry or work on or organize my, all my kitchen cuttery or something crazy like that or clean my refrigerator out when I should be getting ready for like a photo shoot. <laughs> yeah, there's a new Pussycat album going to be out in September called Doll Domination. I'm really proud of it. I've been working really hard on it and I'm really close to the album. I have a lot of personal songs on there from a solo album that I put on the Dolls album and um, I think our fans are going to love it and we'll get new fans from it too. And it's about when you grow up you know, what do you want to be when you grow up? And the song is about being famous and, you know, living the rock star life and having cars and houses and groupies, not boobies, <laughs> and all those things. But the flip side to it is be careful what you wish for because you just might get it because sometimes it's not all, it's not as glamorous. I grew up, I didn't really know what fame was. I just knew I associated fame with success and being the best in the game. So I always knew I wanted to sing. I signed all my yearbooks, remember me when I'm famous, because I wanted to be the best singer in the world. <laughs> I'd have to say the worst part is like you don't have time for yourself, you don't have personal time for your loved ones, for relationships, and most importantly for yourself and your, your connection. Your, I always have to stay spiritually grounded, so I'm constantly being reminded to plant my feet in the ground. Yes, growing up having no money luxury is important to me now. <laughs> I like my Bentley <laughs> and I like having uh, when I first got um, my money I bought my mother a house so I like doing things like that with my money and sharing it with my family normal day I wake up around 7 I'll go to bed right probably around 3 in the morning wake up at 7 in the morning go work out train go to the studio maybe do interviews photo shoots go back to the studio till 3 in the morning wake up seven and do it all over again. Not a lot time, not a lot time, not time to sleep. No, you sleep when you're dead. And that's <laughs> what David Foster always told me. I don't think it annoys me. I think it's flattering if men think of me as a sex symbol because I don't. <laughs> I think my girls are gorgeous, but me, I'm, I'm pretty goofy. So I'm like, wow, really? I just do my thing. I think the sexiest thing to me is music and confidence. I think all girls have their own little things that they're picky about. But then you don't want to talk about it because then you draw attention to it. <laughs> my bunda is really big. Sometimes I'm like, why is everything go straight to my bunda? Bunda is my culo. 
So I just go over like this. <sighs> we just make it look so easy, don't we? <laughs> step by step. It's shaking. Just jumping. Yep. You're right. Dope. It wasn't that bad.